In this video, I'm showing you how to show FPS on your PC when you're playing games, just like I'm doing right now. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do watch this video right until the end to so the full steps. And without any further ado, let's go and get into this video. The first step for getting an FPS counter on our computer is going opening up a search browser. So I'm going to go and open up Google Chrome, and then you want to come to a search engine. And all we want to do is go and search for something called MSI Afterburner. And don't worry, you don't need any MSI products either, but do keep watching this video as I'm showing you the full setup guide as well. So go and search for MSI Afterburner, just like this, and go and press enter. Then all you want to do is make sure you come to the official msi.com website. Click here, it says afterburner-msi. So go and click here, and here we are. So all you want to do is just scroll down on here, and you want to go and click download afterburner just here. It's going to go and stop the download. As you can see, it's only around 50 megabytes, so it's quite small. Then you want to go and locate this download, so either it's going to be in the bottom of your browser, or it's going to be in your downloads folder in your file explorer. Now personally, I'm just going to go and drag this onto my desktop just like so. So I'm now going to close off of our browser and all you want to do is go and open up the zip file. You shouldn't need any tools for this. You can do it in Windows. Then all you want to do is go and see this application here. I'm going to just go and run it just so, like so, so, double click on it. And then you're going to go and get a Windows security pop up. Unfortunately, my screen recorder won't record that. Then you can close off of the zip file and all you want to do is run through this installer. So go for English and go and click next. Then go and read through the license agreement. Then you need to go and select the components to install. It's definitely worth having a Reaver tuner as we actually go and use that. Then go and click next and you can choose the destination folder. Then you can go and click install just like so and here we go. Sit back and relax while it does this. Then it's going to automatically go and start the Reaver tuner installed as well. So once again go and select your language and then you can go and click next and go and read through the license agreement. I already have done. I'm going to go and click next and then choose the destination folder, which is fine there. And then I'm going to go and click install. So here we go. It's now extracting this and doing the install. And during this process, your PC may need some other programs. So for example, it's currently going and installing the Microsoft DirectX, but it's all going to automatically do this for you. So you don't need to worry about it. And here we go. It's now finished. So you can go and click on the finish button just like so. And it's also going and finish the MSI Afterburner setup as well. So I'm going to go and click finish. Then it's going to go and automatically launch the afterburner and here we are. So the first thing you want to do when you're on the afterburner is come onto the left hand side and you want to go and click on this settings cog just here. I'm going to zoom in on this so you guys can see but the first thing you want to do is come down to general properties and I recommend turning on start the windows and start minimize as this basically means as soon as you turn your computer on MSI afterburner is going to be running and it's going to be displaying your FPS uh, on your games. Then once you've done that you want to come to monitoring on this top tab and once it loads, you then want to scroll down here until you can go and see frame rate. So this is an alphabetical order, so you need to scroll down quite far. Uh, there we go, frame rate just here. So as you can see, there's a few. You should only need to do one of them though. And you want to go and click on the tick, just like so. And now we can come down to here where it says frame rate graph properties. So you want to go and tick show in on screen display just like so and make sure text is selected and you want to go and click apply. And once you click apply, you can then go and press OK just like so. And you can go and quit off MSI Afterburner. And once you quit off it, you then come to the bottom right and go and press on the show hidden icons button and make sure you go and see the MSI Afterburner logo, which is this plane here and the Reaver Tuner logo as well. If they aren't there, don't worry, that actually did happen to me. All you want them want to do is go and double click on the Afterburner program just here and it's going to go and launch you back up. If it isn't on your desktop, you can go and search for it as well. But then you want to come back to the bottom right again and go and click on the Show Hidden Icons button and you want to go and look for the Reaver Tuner logo, which is a screen with FPS on. Right click on that and you want to go and click Show. Here we are, and then here you can go and choose where your FPS is going to be shown. As you can see, currently it's going to be in the top left, which I want it to be there, um, but you can go and move it around to wherever you'd like. And you can also go and set Reaver Tuner to go and start the windows as well, so I'm going to go and switch that on. And there we go, that's literally it, and then you can go and close off of it just like so. Now let's go and hop into a game, and I'll go and show you the FPS counter. Here I am in Minecraft, and as you can see, in the top left, you can go and see the FPS, which we just went and set up. So there we go, MSI Afterburner is a great free FPS. FPS counter for your PC and it's really useful and it's going to work in pretty much all games and it's really really useful to know what your PC is currently achieving. If you found this video useful please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.